Hello and welcome, my wonderful friends. How are you today? It's Chris here, and today I want to talk about the Praying Mantids. So before I actually show you guys the changes that have been happening to these guys, some of them are, some of them are a little bit small, some are a little bit bigger, um, before I actually show you that, I want to talk about how insects can grow up. So there's actually only two ways that insects can get bigger or change over time. There's number one, they can actually metamorphose, so you guys are probably used to this with caterpillars or butterflies. Caterpillars um, will start off as an egg, they'll hatch out as little tiny little baby things, get bigger really, really, really fast, all they do is eat, and then eventually they'll, they'll form into a pupil stage, or the cocoon. And then the cocoon, they basically completely change their entire body shape and, and, and pretty much everything about themselves, and then they'll evolve, you know, or evolve is a bad word, but they'll change into this really, really cool looking butterfly or moth or something really cool like that. It happens with a lot of different insects, it's not just butterflies. Fruit flies, a lot of other insects as well do that, even dragonflies do that exact same thing. But not all insects do that. Some of them will actually hatch out as just a mini version of the, the larger version of themselves. So for example, praying mantids start off as just a little tiny praying mantid. Imagine, you know, the big ones you're probably used to. It's just a small little baby version. You guys have already seen it, right? So let's show you guys the cool action of what's going on in the uh, tank right now. So hopefully you guys can see this stuff. I'm actually using my camcorder instead of my more expensive camera just because it's so much easier to shoot with. So if you notice, this is just, what the heck is that thing? It just looks like a dead skin. It is. It's a dead skin because they have molted for the first time. So basically the way these, these insects are going to uh, get bigger is they have an, uh, it, like, uh, an exoskeleton and eventually they realize, oh man, like I'm growing out of my exoskeleton. I'm too darn big. So they shed their old one and they come out as kind of a, a soft, not so not so good looking um, guy, and eventually they harden and they have they're they're a little bit bigger and they form a bigger exoskeleton. So this is actually the guy that has just molted out. You can actually see him; he's looking at me right now. Kind of cool. You can see his little antennas down there if you look really really closely. But this guy just molted out of his uh, previous exoskeleton. So that's the exoskeleton down there, and that's this guy right here. He's pretty reasonable size. Now, just to give you guys a, a grasp of, of how much bigger these guys are getting, keep in mind that this guy is um, probably not as big as he's going to get. He'll probably grow just a little bit bigger as his exoskeleton hardens. This guy right here is also not molted. So you can see, actually, it looks like he might be molting pretty darn soon. But he is not molted. It's kind of hard to tell exactly how big the, they are, but that one is definitely slightly larger. So most of them, I would say, in the in the tank right now are non-molted, or they're in their first instar. So I don't know how many instars are um, involved in, uh, you know, praying mantids growing up, but I'm going to guess it's probably like six or seven or something like that. I mean, that's just my best guess over here. Again, I'm not an expert on praying mantids, having fun with them. Um, you can see this guy over here, he's just chilling, basking in the light over there. He seems like he's a, um, I think he's a first instar as well. You got a couple in the back over there. Um, this guy, oh, he might actually be a a second instar over here. This guy's actually pretty darn big. Check him out. Oh yeah, look at him. I know relative sizes are kind of difficult to uh, portray because it's just like a, any random stick. But if you look at the flies, you can see how small the flies are there compared to maybe um, no, there's no flies near any of the other ones. <sighs> kind of sad, right? But I've, seen, I've noticed actually quite a few of these guys are molting without me getting to catch it. I check back every like few hours or so, but I cannot seem to catch it. For example, if you look over here, I think I saw another, yeah, there it is. There's another exoskeleton on the leaf right there. That's not a praying mantis. That is just his old exoskeleton. It's kind of crazy because you see his like legs and everything. It can easily be mistook for um, the actual praying mantis. But I really don't have that many, you know, huge changes to the tank overall. I've just been continuing what I've been doing. I've only noticed, I think, one of them has died um, recently. One of them, I don't know what happened to him. He just, he just started flipping over and then not being very good. And then he just flipped over one time and just never got up. So a little bit on the sad side. I know I shouldn't be laughing about it. But... Um, only one of them has died, uh, overall, so I'm actually pretty darn happy with that. You know, in the past week, I think only one has died. Before that, actually, a few did. A few did end up dying. Overall, they're doing pretty darn good, though. So, actually, look at this guy. He's actually got all of his arms up. Um, 
can see all of his arms sticking out. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they stick their arms out like that. I don't know if it's to dry or to like try and catch something or what. Oh, here we go. Here's a good example of the size difference between the two. So I believe this one on this side is actually a first instar, and this guy is a second instar. So huge changes? Um, no, but relative sizes? Yeah. I mean, I think the small one was about 12 millimeters, and this guy's already about 18 to 20 millimeters, um, depending on how I measure them. But uh, usually how I measure them is from the tail to the head. I don't include the front arms at all. But it was about 12 millimeters and then about 18 uh, millimeters. I did notice that they did grow a tiny, tiny bit, though. Um, they, when they first hatched out, they were about 1 centimeter or 10 millimeters, and now they've gotten slightly bigger. If you want to know about inches, it's, I don't know, um, there's 2.54 centimeters in an inch, so just use some math there and you can figure it out. Use a calculator, because I'm not a human calculator. Um, so that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, if you guys learned something or you enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll try and answer them as quickly as I possibly can. Um, and I think that's all I got. Yeah, so if you, have, if you want me to make any more videos, you know, talking about certain things, I can definitely do that for you. Just let me know in the comments and have a super duper delicious day.